Hi friends, this book is about Molly Blue Melon. She always tries to do the right thing, even if it's hard. Speak Up, Molly Lou Mellon, written by Patty Lovell, illustrated by David Catro. Molly Lou Mellon was a tiny little girl with a big, deep-down heart. Her mom always told her, be true to yourself. So she was. Molly Lou Mellon tried to do the right things in her life. It didn't always work. Her mom always told her, take responsibility for the things that you do, good or bad. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had friends of all shapes, sizes, opinions, and ideas. Her mom always told her, accept people for who they are and listen to their ideas, even if they are different from yours. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had a loud voice and she chatted, jabbered, and gabbed all the time with her friends. Her mom always told her, you have a strong voice. Use it to speak up for anyone who might need your help. So she did. In the fall, Molly Lou Mellon started school again with a big yellow backpack and a huge toothy smile for all of her friends. She sat with Ronald Durkin and Gertie in the front row of their classroom. Bettini Bunklehead snickered at them and cooed, Molly Lou and Ronald, kissy kissy boyfriend girlfriend. Molly Lou Mellon stood up and told her, we are friends. Then she exchanged a special handshake with Gertie and Ronald. Woodle woodle dink dink cha cha waddle doo. In the winter, Molly Lou Mellon had to be project partners with Bettina Bunklehead. They accidentally painted all over the desks and not on their papers. It was a little fun. When the teacher asked who did it, Molly Lou Mellon said, me, and had to spend recess cleaning the desks. Bettina said nothing and played a great game of pirate outside. Molly Lou Mellon was mad at first, but then she played her own thrilling game of swabbing the decks. Well desks. That looks like a good time. In the spring, a new boy named Garvin Grape started school. He was small, he wore glasses, and his ears stuck out. He told the class all about Newton's law of gravity in a long speech at the front of the room. Bettina Bunklehead rolled her eyes and sneered at Garvin and said, big deal, really loudly. Garvin's cheeks turned bright red and he hung his head. Molly Lou Mellon raised her hand and said, yes, gravity is a big deal. Then she scribbled a little note and handed it to Garvin. It read, welcome to our new school. Nice speech. Join us on the playground at recess and we can test out some gravity. Woodle, woodle, dink, dink, cha, cha, waddle, do, dash, M-L-G-R-D. On the first day of summer, Bettina Bunglehead showed up at camp and promptly stuck her foot out, tripping Garvin Grape. He crashed to the ground and his glasses went flying. Bettina grinned and chirped, smarty pants, look like gravity gotcha. Molly Lou Mellon caught Garvin's glasses in midair, went nose to nose with Bettina and said, you must never do anything like that again to my friend. Friends stand up for one another. She looked like she means business. Ronald stepped forward, and so did Gertie, waving her crutch. They pulled Garvin Grape up, linked arms, and, and the four friends together shouted, Woodle woodle ding ding cha cha waddle do. If you want to be a friend, then it's all up to you. And at the end, it looks like maybe Bettina has learned a lesson. What do you think? Hi, friend. If you want to hear this book again, I meant more books like this again. Just watch read it again with Shen Lady's videos.